Welcome to the Time Patrollers Podcast. It's uh, your boy uh, Lynn here, and we also got Nick. Hello. He's Hi. dying. It's, it sick. wasn't a great time, but we're trying to get content here <laughs> as soon as possible. Yeah. So, uh, the announcement just launched for the Dragon Ball uh, Breakers Season 3 announcement. Um, they Ooh. had a stream and a trailer. Nick hasn't seen anything. Um, I have and, not. No, and has I've only few, a few words. I was there live like a few hours ago. The VOD should still be on my channel by the time this releases. And uh, seeing all the stuff in action. But yeah, we're going to play the trailer on... Uh, we're actually live for this episode. Um, because I started streaming Genshin Impact. And then it's like, oh wait, we're supposed to record this episode. I don't know if Nick's alive. Uh, and he was, so... Well, barely. But, you know... Uh, I'm existing. Well, yeah, when, say, when, I'm when in Rome. Here. So... Uh, we're gonna play the trailer and show Nick off uh, the the simple the simple simple trailer in, that they got. So here Rome, we go, Nick. It's only thirty Nick seconds Italian long. Two. Ready? Seconds. Let's go. They, I just I'm gonna tell you now. They already thirty seconds. I don't like that his hair is more. Yeah, just there's the fart. There's the fart in the wind. It's gone. It's a freaky alien genotype. <laughs> yeah, it's it wasn't. So um, the Guinea Forest. It wasn't much. Oh Peggy snap! We're, go we're going into a Tekken Eight trailer. Let's stop that. Uh. God. Yeah, that's really it. <laughs> so that's what we got um, so, into the trailer. Mm -hmm. So, did they show anything? for their, their showcase of they have playing. it on stream so there's there's definitely more because like all seasons there's Peggy uh, seven. two survivors in a um a battle pass survivor so the launch stream is yeah. actually still live so we can scroll through yeah. it real quick um yeah. did they show i mean did they show the ginyu force fighting how they plan yeah out the uh, they showed definitely the gameplay here so we're gonna pull up uh we're gonna pull up the stuff that i was watching on stream uh window capture there we go let's expand so um uh we'll run through they had a bunch of a uh, few developers uh on and they spread through that we'll cut through to the the meeting gritty so oh, they split well, into Japanese. three parts which is season three contents gameplay and then the mystery section japanese people japanese. <laughs> oh my god nick <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it's uh it was different definitely um different from how they did it before because they had an actual proper trailer yeah. out but I think they gave a bit more direct info because they were talking about it and explained stuff. Because um, yep. when we first saw the the skills of people, we didn't even know how the missile strike functioned more. And even when they streamed it, they didn't really use the missile strike much from King Furry. So if we speed through, we got they showed us the trailer. It's funny because they opened mm -hmm. with a fragment of the trailer, which was just the far in the wind part. Like they actually dead ass showed a fragment of a 30 second trailer. Um, okay. And I was like, oh, it's probably more. So we're going to start with the first form is, is uh, Guldo. Um, he Did is a power level five survivors real quick. What oh, was that? that was uh, so they were overviewing the game like to people who hasn't like haven't experienced it. So power yeah. level five is like, you know, scouter like power level, like his power level is just five, like the farmer. So that's what they're going with with that. Because right. it, it took me a second to realize like, oh, they're mentioning that because no raider can go to level five. Um, no, five. That's what I was saying. Are they gonna add another? Yeah, another no. They're just they're level. just they're explaining over your game. It's like, oh yeah, these you know survivors are weak. They are power level five. They're normal human beings, um, for the most part. So yeah. Um, so Ginyu Force is actually kind of interesting. Uh, I can mute oh, this and let this play at Goldo. their pace. But uh, so we have Goldo. He can um shoot uh paralysis beams like the anime and have a time freeze ability to stop survivors in their track um oh, no. he is their lowest uh, weakest member um and yeah so uh they have requirements to level up like vegeta where it's like uh continuing going through members same as napa uh where it's like they get material if they're not dead but they will level up gradually um so uh next one's Raccoon. he has high damage skills uh yeah raccoon is great he has a very long range kick um uh physical man and then he'd use mouth laser 
So you can really charge uh, charge from a high distance. Um, mm. He's pretty good. Um, I don't know their HP values. Like I wish they gave us direct HP values, but presumably it's like Nappa and stuff where they have a bit more HP over each one or maybe like a, a moot part. Yeah, yeah uh, Jason oh, Birder are Jason actually a tag team. Birder. So um, instead of um, uh, like directly controlling like um like one character and like using the side characters to scout they have kind of that but it seems like they also kind of switch between them from what the ui was showing um they have really cool like uh assist attacks uh where it's like that crazy like tornado attack uh the jacer ball the crush ball um and like yeah. a good energy volley <coughs> so yeah and then the last member of course is um let me fast forward a bit. Is Captain Ginyu? <laughs> oh, they're going over his gimmick first. Uh, so, I so before they introduced Ginyu, they showed a um, uh, kind of how like Vegeta operates, where it's a uh, you get a a bit of a boost when you have people alive. But I think it's a bit more fair compared to Vegeta because when we actually kill them, they lose more. So, if we kill Goldo, they'll lose more uh, from it. Because if Goldish survives, he will patrol the map and uh, hit survivors. Um, yeah. And also, the crazy part about it is... So, he'll patrol the map, find survivors, and I think use his like time stop skill to kind of get them. Um, but also, he will... Um, if someone does a melee attack on the raider, he'll interrupt it one time. Which is insane. Uh, that Ooh, they get so that free buy. I hate so this is basically just fucking the Vegeta stuff all over again. The worst. Yeah. But um, the, uh. the a good thing about it is you cut more from it. Because uh, they have, as they go on, they have an active effect on Ginyu. Um, or a passive effect, too. Um, so if we hmm. fast forward to Raccoon. So yeah, either way, they go to switch to transformation. <coughs> um, so they make him weaker, though, I guess. Or if you yeah, yeah, him. yeah. It, they actually actively like to, to pull the cat out of the bag. We'll see in a minute. But they actually reduce the stats. Um, mm. Each of them have a role to affect the stats. So, Raccoon, same thing. Um, so his thing is, uh, he will come and assist the raider when they um, do melee attacks. And he'll also do a hinder the close range attack, but only once. So, every time a raider survives, he'll have an extra, um, pretty much, uh, a guard break, kind of. Um, so, things like Kaioken Assault or Justice Rush they will be less effective if we don't deal with the problem early which is good though because if you use on the level one raider like uh goldo he doesn't have he's like a cyberman like a justice rush will most likely like kill him or like do like 70 percent of his hp so mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. yeah raccoon will pretty much if they do a melee attack on you they will raccoon will come in on the beat down kind of like that jojo meme and uh they will do actually like this 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 raider is insane only because of um the extra damage they get for like each person but to balance it off like they lose you know that damage over time if you get rid of the people um i think it's definitely better than um vegeta because vegeta doesn't lose anything really when you get a cyberman and he comes exponentially worse when they have it i feel oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like it's a weird like extra part of their kit is added and they're already kind of busted on their own with uh, Vegeta. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Jacer and Birder um, will enhance his super attack. So it is insane. If he super attacks with Jason Birder, there is like tornadoes going off. It is literally madness. They will one tap a level three. Like you don't want them to have that. It is it is actually like they definitely are the definition of uh, combat prowess. Like. It's different from Vegeta, where it's like, oh, I just get this, like, Unga Bunga 8 form, um, and pretty much can't die. Well, these yeah. guys are like, oh, yeah, we're going to kick your ass really badly um, if so, we power up. So it's not as, like, out of the box, broken, like, Vegeta. Where yeah, like, I don't feel like it, because the problem with Vegeta is yeah. the Cybermen have scouting capabilities. And Golda does have that, yeah. too. But, um, and he's kind of MVP. But it's like... It's again like you can use like the Cybermen, like the Bane, to your advantage. Um, but the pr problem is that Guldo's an uh, uh, like an ongoing threat, 
while Cybermen are kind of one and done. Because in the first round of a Cybermen fight, they have preset spawn points. And people can okay. sit there and bait the Cybermen onto them. And then like IT out or something. And uh, if they're coordinated well, and that buys a lot of time for the Raiders. Or the, the, the survivors. Well, Guldo is... Um, but it's hard to do. Um, future Cybermen are like insta like I I'm here like they 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 are they are traps instead, and that's what creates a problem. Yeah. While Guldo is just constantly roaming around as a time freeze thing, which uh, it's honestly hard to tell if it's good or bad because when they have the developers plays, they're not they're they're not very good at the game. I'm gonna gonna be honest. Oh, they got him better right, since they're... the first stream. Not gonna lie, the first stream was hard to watch. This one, it seems like they've improved the bin and they were able to survive longer on the test games. Um, was this even the same batch of people? I wasn't like the other one. Like it, it seems like it. Um, they have like two pro players on there, um, and the pro players are playing either a raider or a survivor. And yeah, it's just kind of like, um, yeah, it's still kind of a bit uh, one-sided on the raiders end, but it, they've been getting a bit yeah. better at it. This seems to me, this seems very strange because it seems like they want to force people to fight more with uh, the Ginyu Force because it seems like either you have to defeat them or they're just going to get constantly stronger. Or unlike how Vegeta was, it you, you can go either or with uh, uh, defeating them or not. You mostly want to save it when it gets to Vegeta. Yeah. Or, or uh, when it gets to, what's his name, Nappa this one that seems like oh you're gonna want to defeat at least uh raccoon or you know yeah uh, you can also yeah you uh, can pick your shoes and fight turn them. in what you can like deal with like um like raccoon like if he's gone it reduces his melee advantage um on close range attacks and reduces what he does um and it, i feel like yeah. jason bird are easier to handle yes they have a big sweep but those big sweeps have a cooldown. So, like, you can probably take out a uh, Goldo and Raccoon. And then, like, leave Jason Burder to recharge your energy. And then fight like that. And make sure you just don't get sweeped by a super attack. Um, it really adds some options to change up against the Raider. Uh, versus Vegeta. Because yeah. Vegeta was kind of poo-poo. And I hope they, like... They add, take some of this and put it on Vegeta. So they kind of... To nerf him. Like, give him a bit more yeah. loss when dealing with that. Um, like he doesn't need anything more added, but like it's more of just like he'll weaken over time. So yeah, uh, they'll patrol. Um, they'll patrol. So yeah, here it is. So if Goldo's alive, Ginyu will get extra health. If um, Raccoon's alive, he'll get extra damage. And then movement speed is for Birder and, and Jace. And so that's also like something you want to keep in mind. Like, so I don't know how he's still Goldo first. Yeah, yeah, okay. definitely. Like, nerfing the guy's HP overall. Like, Guldo is a mandatory kill. Uh, Raccoon is kind of like a 50-50. Honestly, it's hard to really tell how much damage is he's outputting. But maybe because of Raccoon, mm -hmm. that's why the level 3 Birder Jace holds are hitting as hard. Like I said, like, those those games that they played, they were just losing to the Raider for the most part. Like, they, they lasted long, but, like, it just... Um, you, you we, we didn't see Ginyu at any less power. We only saw him at full power. So, um, like, maybe it's, I, I think it's probably not going to be as bad when uh, we actually fight them and actually take them out. Because they, they didn't take out yeah. any of the forms. They had some close calls, um, but it's that, that melee step in that, um, that really uh, just ruined them. Where, like, uh, Goldo will stop the melee rush so they can combo harder. Um, so, yeah, they're a team type raider, that's what they're calling it. So, if we fast forward a bit, uh, Ginyu has um yeah his famous skill uh the body swap so this is insane oh does he have it oh boy yeah so he'll body change with a um a uh, a survivor i was hoping they added oh. this so he and he'll turn into the level four version of the the rate of their transpear so he will turn into like beerus or bardock um they actually showed it once what and he will take their energy they will be reverted back to a level one survivor which is a big kick in the head. That's fucked. Yeah, Yo, but that's, that's literally at the fucked. end of the game. So, like, most people are getting. So, the funniest interaction would be, like, someone body block. Like, like someone is the physical frog. And they just jump in oh, front wow. of fucking you. And give them their level 1 form. Because they're already level 1. Um, 
But yeah, it's it, it's crazy. It's it, it's it, it's a it more I feel like a unnecessary add-on for how much they've put into this raider. But it's really funny because you know it's it's his signature skill. They have to. So they display it once. So we're gonna go to the next one. So here's the the survivors. Um, uh, Dende. Oh, I see it already. I Little green like baby. Little green. Yeah. So he is everything we've talked about and wanted uh, for a while, and especially because he has heal ability. He revives uh, people quicker, and he has Dragon Clan healing, which will apply a barrier after reviving a person, which we've always talked about, about yeah, being just, a skill like, for a while. Healing class, bro. That's a game changer. I am definitely probably going to start running yeah. that as full support now that we have the capability there. Um, Like, to, to reduce the downtime. And also, healing quickly is such a banger because, you know, a lot of times when you heal, like, most of the time, you barely get it. And the, the raider's there. So a few seconds cutting from that changes the game. The next is King Kai. Um, still no Hercule. It makes me really sad. Uh, but... Telepathy. Yeah, King Kai's alright. Get out of your bubbles. Huh? The, the, the get out of here bubbles. Get oh yeah, yeah, bubbles, bubbles is great. Um, bubbles is definitely the MVP of the skill set. Because um, it actually like stops the raider's lock on versus smoke bomb. Um... Of course, I think it, it probably has a close range effect, kind of like um, a sense, uh, uh, cur curling shoe. But yeah, it actually starts with a lock on, and he's actively moving, blocking the uh, POV. Um, and then I realized that um, get out of here, bubbles is being used on the cell training area in practice mode. Um, that is the practice mode set. You see the vending machines in the background that are never there during the cell games during that. Um, and then telepathy, he can actively use that to see the raider's location, which is. Pretty good if That's you're cool. running um, uh, the missile strike that at least guarantees you a lock on for the missile strike, and you know it helps people know like information's key in this, this game. This is good for a class that is very heavy on locating raider and distracting, basically being the person that gets chased and just distracting, keeping them occupied while the others find their shit. Yeah, definitely. Like, like I don't really know the cooldowns on everyone, but, but um, I think bubbles wasn't too high um, from what they showed in the demo. And um, uh, telepathy uh, seemed uh, relatively like uh, tame on the cooldown. I think maybe thirty seconds if I saw. Uh, so let's move forward. So yeah, uh, those two are viable with t key TP tokens, and here's our battle pass one: Fortune Teller Baba. Ooh. Yeah, uh, she's good. Uh, well, the skill is Don't really good to divine the Dragon Balls. Yeah. Because I'm not sure if they're visible to everyone. Same with the tele telepathy. I think is definitely visible to everyone. Because yeah, um, telepathy says uh, revealed to allies. This one I think is only revealed to you. Yeah, because uh, always for... it's always public knowledge. Um, so yeah, she just shows the dragon balls. I don't know if everyone can see them, but um, yeah, she you sees them like kind of like you would see them in um, Kakarot. What What's up? Uh, you can float. And move instead of jumping. Yeah. So it doesn't mean she could fly around. Yeah. So that's the thing. She seems slower. And honestly, I don't know how um, speed up skills. They didn't actually talk about how speed up skills will affect her. Um, uh, so, like, her herself, the skill's more interesting. The, the, the ability to float is kind of. Eh, it, it honestly depends. Like, definitely, she probably won't make sound like the flying Nimbus. So, mm. that's good. Um, but yeah, she just kind of floats on that ball, and it's really hilarious when she gets down because she's like crawling with the ball attached to her. And then new transpires—they're not really that big. Uh, we're gonna skip forward a bit because they're not—they're um, not gonna show them. So we can cut to some gameplay real quick of them playing, so we can this see a bit Bardock. of the radio action. They don't already have Bardock. Oh no, this is Super Saiyan Bardock. Yeah. So they have the two personal players, Onuki and Ka uh, Kazunoko. <laughs> you look at the King Kai destroying things with the force. Yeah, I know, right? I was like, he's force blasting them. So yeah, on your left, you can see he has a monkey one. And um, on top was his uh, telepathy. He's already used it. Okay. So, um... Sorry, is one person who with a controller and the other people are someone else they're playing with a uh, PC? So, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, one is using controller and the other is using keyboard. Um, they're probably both on PCs for the test build. Um, because you know they don't have crossplay because that's still not in the game. I, w I was hoping the mystery oh, yeah, option was crossplay, it. but it's not. 
I like this metal area that he's in. So definitely there's a snow rocket. area. It's again in our dynamic base map, but I like some of the things, like the set pieces. Well, it makes sense for being dynamic because oh, of course. Uh, course I assume that. this metal, the, that metal underground part, might have to do something with the cooler, like Saga. I never watched Cooler, but um, I seen I think or Cooler or Burkule, I think his name is. Um, where I've seen like metal bits inside like the the clips from the anime uh, that they're there. But I think they had some fights on Namek, on like snowy parts of Namek. I don't know. It, it's it's unsure to me. Uh, uh, to be fair, is that but Namek or is that? Oh, I thought that was like the snowy parts were from like Earth. Maybe I don't know. I like I haven't. I like I I'm still not the biggest like Dragon Ball Z person. Um, like so I haven't seen a lot of like the side content like the movies, because there's a lot of side content. But yeah, this seems to be a more snow heavy map to make use of that snow skill. Um. Uh, but yeah, oh, oh, I just noticed in the center is where all the Ginyu Force land. There's a bunch of pods there. But yeah, it's not, it doesn't seem like a bad area. Um, but again, it's, it's, uh, it's Namek Syndrome. So if I'm not paying attention to what map we spawn in, then I'm like, wait, this is like map two, probably. Um. They really got the same, like, waterways and stuff like other. Yeah, a lot more water too. So yeah, you get advantage of swim speed. But again, it's, the problem is they, they remove picking our map, so. Um, and they got the they got the Frieza ship too. It looks exactly the same. In the area. I just feel like the the literally just took one map as like. Oh yeah, they definitely re in like in. reuse assets, so they reuse Frieza ship because yeah, this is technically in the same timeline as mm -hmm. the you know the the Frieza saga. So they're gonna keep like a Kami Guru's house is somewhere around here too. Um, they have Bulma's capsule corp from area two. Yeah, like, this metal hallway is new. Um, and then, you know, just simple, like, topology is different. I'm not sure how effective it will be. I'm not sure how big it is either. Um, so, one crazy thing right here, I can hover my mouse over it, is that the Raider has a gauge on top of their HP. And I didn't notice this on the survivor side, too. So, they have a stun gauge now. This protects them from dropping Dragon Balls on the initial, like, rocket blast. What? Yeah. In theory, though, Why? that... Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of dumb, but in theory though, this could also allow us to, as a lower level survivor, uh, fight them when this gauge is broken. Like when we get a melee combo, they won't deflect, but I'm not sure we haven't tested that, but, um, yeah, it just, um, it at least adds a few shots. So they'll be protected from, um, um, dropping their dragon ball on, on across the map rocket, at least a single one. It's a, it's a, it's a buff for all raiders. Um. I don't know. Like, uh, if, if the other thing like takes an effect, I wouldn't dumbest, mind it. Sorry, that's the dumbest thing to add for the Raiders. It's already bullshit to get the stuff from them anyways. Why even bother giving them a game? Be like, oh, yeah, let's protect them to get in the ball. It's like, no, it's fine. If they get hit by a rocket, that's their fault anyway. Yeah, like, hit, honestly, like, an across the map rocket stuff. shot's not easy to land. Yeah, it's like, if they get hit by a blast or anything and they drop the Dragon Ball, that's fine. That's what it's supposed to do because they got to land on it. But it's like, why the three-man jump right there with recruit was nutty. Oh God. Yeah, it's insane. I don't know what like is going on with um that like, I don't mind it only if the effect is um like I said if a level one can beat a level three if that gauge is empty, but yeah. um that's that's the only thing that justifies it. But besides that, like it, 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 if if that's not the case, then it's really stupid. Because we should be able to just hit them across the map and, like, buy us time. Either them picking up the Dragon Ball again or even, you know, us getting it. Because a lot of times, yeah, you can, like, shoot them. They go down, pick up the Dragon Ball. Then you blast them again. Yeah. And then they come back up. And they go back down to pick up the Dragon Ball. And that buys you a lot of time. Um, if you're doing that. But this is just awful. Where it's like, they're getting Dragon Balls and there's nothing you can do if you have no rockets or enough, like, energy. This is awful i don't know why would they even put a gauge like that and it, it it just seems to me they want to make the raiders stronger for no reason just to be it, it's like why, why yeah and that pushes so it in an unfair or like a uh, position players, if that's the case yeah or the yeah. players are just gone also where's your uh, where's your like i'm hoping uh, for um the that since we're doing a public test server they'll um they'll give you know take input from it 
Like, they'll just, actually yeah, see our, our win squad. rates and take more active role of doing something. Because I feel like it's no point in putting a public test server if you're not going to do anything about it. Like, why put the effort in making one? Yeah. Uh, when your avatar is gone, um... <laughs> oh, I've, I've vanished? Yeah. Nice. Oh, I've seen yeah, to, yeah. like... Uh, to me, it just... Have bent to the floor. Yeah. To me, oh, it just seems like they they for some reason was like, oh, the app is freaking out. Yeah, that's out. a good idea. We need to we need Hello. to make the raider able Hi. to keep the dragon balls and not get beat up. Oh my word! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on the floor right now. What the hell? Dude, I read for this laying on your side, relaxing. Yeah, I'm just chilling, chilling on this. I'm sleeping on this content. <laughs> Well, let's uh, reset that. Hold on. So so professional. I know. I know most people probably were like, are probably thinking like, oh, only oh, all you fix that first before saying anything. Technical difficulty. What is happening? Yeah, a lot of people aren't happy about this. Like that's what the, I don't feel. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just on baseline. I I honestly just like yeah. the general content for the gameplay stuff. Um, yeah. Like uh, they they showed off some of the passes. Oh yeah, getting you poses a lot. Like Look they did that. that. Like the raider design yeah. is really nice and the stuff for it, but like some uh, some choices are not uh, daijobu. Uh, just like um, uh, making the the armor gauge, for example, or you know removing the key time. Like I'm hoping with a new um. A new like uh a uh, lead that they have will improve the game because they did swap the guy out um so if you know if I they're know. putting effort in some parts to you know make that uh, swap then yeah you know good on so them i know the they're trying their best on this game right like they're trying to give like the fans what they almost kind of what they want and they're adding cool stuff but i'm not the only one who also thinks that this game is just a cash grab for them again, where they just go and get money and then abandon it after, you know, they found enough of it and there's not enough people playing anymore. Just like every other game they've done in the past that wasn't a success, like Xenoverse. You know what I mean? Like, they did that with Jump, uh, Jump Force, they did that with One Punch Man, they did that with My Hero Academia, I think that was Demon Slayer as well. You know what I mean? All these type of games where these anime games don't succeed. And there's a Battle Royale My Hero Academia game coming out. I heard there's out. a MOBA no Dragon Ball game coming. Well, not MOBA. It was a MOBA yeah, jump like, game. Yeah, I don't I don't understand, man. It, it, this this is just going in the wrong direction. Like, I, you giving the uh, Raider more uh, what's it, leeway and stuff, more asset. Like, if they're giving more the Raider more help. The Raider doesn't need more help. It doesn't. They don't need more help. Well, it's not. It's not HP. It's um, it's like a, um, it's a stun gauge. It is a it's stun gauge. Yeah, but that's still like, why? It's fine the way it was, anyways. Why add a stun gauge where it's like, he has, he, it's gonna just be a bitch to get the Dragon Balls again, from them away. Cause look, you could see he has the Dragon Balls. They try to hit him. That stun gauge didn't do anything. He dropped those Dragon Balls. Like it's already a, a bitch to get the Dragon Balls in the first place when they when they when you hit them because they just go and grab them and then defend them most of the time. I, I'm I know I'm like I, I feel like the more negative. Oh, he's gonna do the body change. Is he gonna hit? Uh, what's her name? Oh God! I didn't see that frame. Ew! What the what in the <laughs> world? <laughs> Baba just. Yeah, it's like her mouth hitbox is off. <laughs> oh my god! It ends the game what? too, but yeah, Bardock is on the right now uh, because they had their level three Bardock. But yeah, so when they win, they pose instead of um, destroying the planet, which I think is really good. Wow, that's <laughs> a real like f you, huh? Like, Dude, Bardock so... cheeked up. Wow, what in the world? <laughs> <laughs> like how cheeked up Bardock is, yeah. Why I, is so, Bardock so I, I'm, up? I'm wondering if because we never seen it yet, but because uh, again they they it was a sweep uh, on all these games. If they lose a guy, will they have less members on their pose? Maybe. Yeah. Probably. I, I think so. They would uh, probably start with. My question is, 
Is there females you can transform to? What do you mean? Your sea soul? Like your your dragon soul, right? Isn't there a female? There's female characters. No. I wonder if they're gonna change the pose. No, I thought there was. What's her name? Um. Uh, uh what's her name? Um. Eighteen. Oh yeah, you're and, right. Eighteen. Uh, okay. Oh, Videl. Yeah, Videl. Yeah. Okay. Females. Yeah. Videl. Yeah. What do you mean? No. What are you talking about? I I, I didn't think I like, any because I I was thinking of all the tra the Dragon Ball characters. Yeah, there's females. There's uh, two or three. I'm maybe. Be wrong. Oh, I'm gone. Uh, yeah. yeah, but there's females. So I wonder if they change the animation for that because I'm pretty sure they're not gonna make. Yeah, fast forward into a thing real quick. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna make 18 or a Videl pose like that. How Captain Ginyu is. That'd be funny. I want to see it. What? Someone's gonna <laughs> no. be. Someone's gonna dead ass like be like, um, <laughs> uh, what is it? Um. Uh, name themselves a uh, uh, body swap me, and then have level four Videl. Yeah, as yes. as a thing. So yeah, Just if you fast forward, cheeks. they they swap the guy as the raider. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, what was it? Uh, I didn't know what this skill was this whole time. Uh, during the stream, this down arrow because I never seen it before. Apparently, it's a mm -hmm. insta drop. You'll instantly descend with it. It's a new Bardock skill, apparently. So, that's cool. Um, but yeah, it's it's, a, it's another sweep, too. So, like, it's hard to get more information here from this, because they didn't play well. Um, like, a lot of them are still level 0, and we are already at Raccoon. Um, which isn't too bad, because so usually these, they've been blasting it. Are the it pros? Start... Yeah, the are pros the pros are great. The the left... No, I'm talking about the pros. Oh, the are pros, the pros yeah. the ones on the left and right? Are Both of them are. The pro players? Yeah, these two are the, the pros. The, the, yeah, the rest of the, the team is full right. of dev team, and then these are uh, pretty much the people on the um, on the stream, like the the main developer and stuff like that, and the um, the host and um, 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 I forgot which one this one. I think he was a, a designer. Um, but yeah, these guys are just watching them play, um, and then the dev teams oh, are in another cool. room playing the game uh, with them. So yeah, as you see, like Guldo will just uh, interrupt that that melee attack that happened there. Um, yeah. And yeah, like the stun gauge doesn't protect them from like actual like attacks. Like the combo started, uh, it only oh, got no, stopped yeah, by Guldo. Yeah. It wasn't anything to do with the stun gauge. No, I'm talking about like when you hit the rocket. It seems like you probably get stunned by. Uh, the yeah, I'm trying or... to figure out when he gets hit by a rocket because I want to see what the damage is on that thing. Because I assume or, it's like you two know or three how we hits. Discovered... The key transformation when we transform, maybe that also doesn't like it. Also, I don't know if that gets affected by it because it didn't, I don't think they show it. Yeah, but when you get transformed next to the raider, it pushes them back. So, I wonder if he doesn't even get affected by that. Then, yeah, he broke it in one oh, melee no, combo. Jesus, one one melee he combo broke that done. gauge. What is this like, uh, orb that they get transformed in this like dark aura? Yeah, bam. That's just one melee combo catching them off guard. Uh, yeah, I assume rockets just take two or three. Um, yeah. um, I assume two, because two would be enough, to be honest. Um, but yeah, uh, the the dark aura, uh, if that each of you are talking about, that was uh, from Guldo for his time freeze. Oh. Yeah, because Guldo, Guldo uh, rolls around areas and will, like, you know, he'll walk into the path of some fight, so people will have to plan ahead on how they'll fight him. Um, I don't know if it's ever a good sign for the whole stream, uh, for them playing this game, that they never won a survivor. I, I yeah, it's not. It's not. But good. then, it, yeah, it's it's not for several reasons. Uh, because one is like, like they're not good at their the own devs. game, yeah. and and two, it, it's and just like just it doesn't it. go well. Because yeah, like yeah, only you, you only these two broken. are like the professional gamers they have, um, yeah. and um the uh the survivors are um literally like one of them's professional the rest are devs and if the devs don't really know how to play much like i said the first time was awful it was awful watching them like play it was uh like i think someone one of them went, used their chains at the most random time and the funniest thing was they changed into the hercule statue from map two and they were on map one um didn't know that was in the change rotation which was funny 
but also it was just such a bad execution. Um, and I think one of them, when they were, I think the last game, like, the, the last story was King Kai. And he didn't use telekinesis, like, all game, I think. And he used it at the end when he was trying to escape. Oh, yeah. They lasted longer this it's time, awful. it seems. Um, uh, I love how Bob... <laughs> Where does her ball go? I don't... Have her butt, maybe. Has, <laughs> in her hat? Maybe. Somewhere. It has to go somewhere. Yeah, it has to go somewhere. I like the, the floating. I like the floating that she has. That really does... Yeah, yeah, yeah it's neat. Floating. Yeah, it's just it just poops out. Yeah. Oh, it disappears. Uh, okay, for, like, a frame. It's like an egg. But yeah, her yeah, floating's just, neat. I, I, yeah. I'm just not sure how well it will be, like... I guess you can get in good zipline positions with her. Like, definitely players will figure out how to manifest that better. Yep. She'd probably be used uh, very, uh, very brokenly. Uh, yeah, people, people, people are nutty. Yeah, we'll see on yeah. the testing tomorrow. That's when uh, the testing goes live at like 10 p.m. Um, so I'll probably be on that. I might stream it. Uh, let's, um... Fast forward a bit. I, I know I'm just a negative Nancy here. It's just uh, this game, bro. It, it's it's becoming more and more of uh, a problem. Even the cool shit. I'm saying the cool shit they're adding is awesome, but just it just seems more of a more of a problem. You know yeah. I mean? they, like they need a poll. They just need another poll. Give us another poll or something. Well, they need to right do something to... off the first poll first. Yeah, it's like come. Because, like, like, Dende listen, and Kai were pretty much already time. planned. Yeah. Um, Like, this this whole set was pretty much pre-planned because they had, were already pre-scheduled up to Season 3. So, yeah. I think the polls for mostly what's going to happen on Season 4. And, like I said, they, they literally switched developers and they announced it during uh, the end of this. Um, Jesus, they might not even listen then. They might not even listen to the their fans then. Yeah, I think this guy's the new one, though. and then the other one's the the older uh, the the uh, uh, I think it's this one that swaps out. Um, yeah, yeah, they both look tired as hell. Jesus. So yeah, they do you around three. Uh, yeah. um, again, <laughs> Raider wins. I like the little poses yeah. they got because we have to get new force now, so they can all do getting new poses. You know, you know, you know, it's funny. It just seems like with all these type of games coming out, like. Did you hear the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game that came I out? I heard about... We were talking about the other stream, and that sounds pretty hype. Um, yeah, it's like... Look at that. That game looks dope as fuck. Right? Yeah, I, I like, felt oh, so on, happy I for the people who played the Friday the 13th game and got this. Oh, yeah. Because they, it's like, it's, it feels so good that they didn't, like, give up after, like, Friday the 13th had the whole lawsuit thing. And they came back yeah, with a new IP and a better game, I've heard. And I'm like, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. Te Texas... Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like that whole like movie and story stuff with just like the Leatherface, is fun, phenomenal. And I mean, the, this thing has a lot of potential. You know, I mean, it was, you know, with, from Dead by Daylight, yeah, being Dead by Daylight, I think it would be this game just looks awesome. Yeah, like I like this game for its certain reasons. The Dragon Ball IP is definitely fun, and I like the eight v one. Uh, um, like each each isometric game has their own flair for it. Um, I can't really get into a horror vibe, uh, so I was never into Friday the 13th. Or, um, I probably won't be into Texas, too, but oh my god, that IT was so good. Um, yeah. it's sad, though, because, so, yeah, he ITs out, and then, and then Raccoon goes, like, around the corner, and then he's, like, right, he didn't IT far. Fucking claps. The clap. What in the world? Yeah, yeah, he, he goes up there, and yeah, he was up there. Like, <laughs> he did not IT so far. I don't know who the other guy was, but yeah, you know, I, I feel that sometimes I'm, like, looking for a person, and it's, like, I can't tell the distance, so. But, man, yeah, my man, like, like, I felt, I felt hope for this game when that IT worked. When that IT worked, I'm, like, yeah. oh, they might actually win this one. And then he's, like, two inches away, I'm, like, god, I spoke too soon. This uh, was live, you, too, you, by the you, way. You, you and it was actually deadass live, because it wasn't, like, pre-recorded, because, like, maybe they pre-recorded it. But, no, at the end of the stream, the audio cut out. Jesus. The, like near the end of the stream, the actual audio cut out when they're saying their goodbyes, and it was really funny. But yeah, uh, I'm trying to find the the Dark Souls of the game. Um, Dark Souls of the game. What do you mean? Like yeah, Dark yeah. Souls there's a the, uh, a little thing that happens. Uh, I think it's uh, when the last one is up. Yeah, Kai's dead. 
or no, Kai's dead. Bobby. So yeah, uh, Bobby just got revived by Dende. Um, yeah. Uh, so you get to see that Dende gave Bobby, yeah, a little red flares in it, and they got their, they had their shield back instantly, which is really good. Like definitely, we have more tools in our kit to play with, so it could be really good. See, so, yeah, I love this trick right here. <laughs> they just float up. And they try to zip line <laughs> off, but their angle is off. Wow. They did, they did scoot Ooh. away for a bit. Only for a bit. This is a pro player? Bro, this guy's ass. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, though, they haven't played the build. And honestly, I think Bobbity, Baba's like a... I keep calling her Bobbity. Baba's like her crawl. But, <laughs> but yeah, I think Baba's skill is um probably weird to navigate. Because we never had a floater character besides a Nimbus, and then Nimbus also kind of feels weird sometimes. Yeah. So I assume it was just weird mobility for them. Like, definitely, like, I feel like Raider, you're going to get the same, like, gameplay cycle. But they are dropped with pre-built characters. So, um, I don't think they really pick the, the stuff that's on it. They have to, like, try it and fix, figure it out on the fly, which also makes it difficult. So yeah, Vava dropped the soul. Um, there's a Dark Souls part. Apparently, Gohan's new skill... Uh, Team Gohan is like, uh, um, I'll, I, I will like avenge you or something. And what you can do is, if a player dies, they can pick up their soul, and um, they'll gain more power for the next transformation, um, or for the rest of the game. I think they'll gain more damage and stuff. Like literally, it's Dark really Souls. They're just collecting souls to make them so stronger. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I thought it was a skill that a person carries on them, and then they like drop their soul. Um, uh, so it's, um, they drop their souls so it's able to be picked up, uh, but no, it's actually, like, someone has it and they can just harvest other people's souls. It's like, I'm gonna put that skill on, because I die a lot, so I'll just give someone a free soul. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it just goes downhill for the most that's... part. Um, yeah. Yeah, Kai, yeah, Kai's the last one alive, he uses telekinesis for himself to see the raider, and then he just gets out of position at the wrong time. Again, like, this is one of the devs, and they're not great at the whole sensibility. Because definitely they could have escaped if they paid... Yeah, see? There's a soul right there. Um, So Kai might be the one that has the ability. He tries to fight. He gets stormed. Yeah, that attack, like, is it insta-pop. It shoots so much stuff once you have all three of them. Jeez. All right. or, or just right. Jason Birder, I guess. But yeah, that's really yeah. it. You can fast forward... Um, talk about the aggro. So, a uh, message to Del uh, no. So, if this guy was just yelling at the dev team, like, Dev team, you gotta do it! Come on! <laughs> he's like, yeah, he was just yelling, like, very loud. Like, I love that guy. He was great. Um, he's just like, Dev team! Dev team! You can do it, Dev team! We could win this one! Un un unbelievable it, it, it it's bad that not even the dev team and a pro player could have yeah. won un un unreal the game you people like, that work on the game how that was like practically like a team bag right win? there <laughs> he just bends downwards <laughs> he left the dragon ball behind too what the hell But yeah, it, like they they did get better from the first time, so maybe season four they'll actually live. Yeah, because yeah, the first time was so bad. Like they were just not a weld oil machine there. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's just more disappointing. I'm sorry. There's there's nothing I can say that's nice, so I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> that's fair. So they go over a new skill. So um. Change the future is kind of cool. Um, increase the limit gains amount during the ultimate dragon chain. So if you uh, get your level four, um, not bad. Um, depends how much you increase, but it's very niche. You have to actually, you know, tell people, yo, I have this skill while they um, have the dragon balls. Um, instant descent is good. Um, I don't. I assume it's like an it downwards because it wouldn't be really instant if you're, you know high in the sky so i assume it's an it dot down drop i think that's a good tech skill 
But yeah, we couldn't really see it on Baba, and that might have been good for Baba, because she floats very slowly. Um, but yeah, that one's not bad. Um, then, um, kind of fast forward. Uh, you're all going to pay, that's what it's called. So, increases your limit gauge amount and damage dealt, so you become, you overall become stronger for each player that goes down. Which could be good in some clump situations where a lot of people are dying near the end of the game, and you can get that turnaround up. Um, Oh, and again, it depends on how much you get back. Dean, the super attack father son Kamehameha recreates the face. I love that's scene. the tag there. And it's just funny seeing like just your character and then Goku in the background. What the fuck? Hopefully bro. it's good. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully it's not like uh, that instant transmission Kamehameha. Yeah, because some kind of them have been like booty. Like, honestly, the super attacks are like the worst part about this game, unless they're interesting. Um, yeah. um, like, like, because there's some that are just built better than others. Um, and it's hard to kind of uh, fix that. Young Talent. Um, this one's interesting. So it increases the damage you take, but prevents stagger. Um, or being blown away during while you're dragon chains during the dodge. So that could be really good. Um, because you can, you know, counter like frame the opponent. And then exploration gives you skills, which, like, using that with Till could provide more um, boxes to open. Um, I might I might try to get that, because, yeah, it, it reduces active skill cooldown. Um, uh, what does that mean? It, what it can help you Till up more. Active skill cooldown. Yeah. I don't know by how much, but, again, it's not bad. Like, I think that's way better than the Dragon Chain one. Because, like... Most likely, by the time you get your dragon chains, you've already, like, most of the boxes have been open or a good chunk of them. Um, but this, like, cooldown is cooldown. Like, that's, um, what, an extra scouter use, um, extra item search use, extra till, um, uh, extra, extra freaking, um, zipline. Like, you can get around faster. Um, uh, because definitely, again, speed is key for this game. Um. And then a lot more chance spears will come out later, like obviously probably getting you force ones. Um and then the last part about it is the um um the launch date is next uh I think next Friday or the Friday after, June 9th. Um uh so then they, they put like why is it so long away from this? And that's because they're opening a um a public test uh server. So starting tomorrow, we're going to have a public test server up. And we can play the game. I think all this stuff, the, all the new stuff is free for the most part. Um, there'll be a button on the main game that uh, will say, hey, uh, here's here's how you enter or whatever. You'll just, instead of pressing, like, play, you can press PTS. Um, so, again, like, hopefully this is something to help improve the game. Um, like, they'll actually yeah. take this data and use it for once. Um yeah, like, I'm hoping the game just improves uh, over stuff. Like, I like the new content, but again, like, still bring back. I thought this was going to be ranked. When they put question mark, question mark, and like, are we going to get ranked breakers? Uh, that'd be horrible, bro. What the heck? Yeah, that would be horrible, but yeah, like, like League Why of Legends, like, ranked? maybe they'll actually, like, balance the game better for ranked. Oh, God. So, yeah. Uh, Wait, why do they need rank with all the stuff they already have in the main? Yeah, the so main PTS um, will uh, let us play as whatever um, um, trans spears that are available um, in other maps in the Ginyu Force. Uh, it looks like it, the Raiders uh, going to be only Ginyu Force. So, again, I think it might be good testing because they're only testing that Raider. Um, and then, yeah, we'll be able to play as Baba, King Kai, for, uh, and Dende um, as uh, Sarara skins, which is good because uh, it will give players the ability to try before they buy. Um, and then, um, yeah, you'll get the new Transpears and stuff and Yanjiro B Bean Daddy if you want to try those guys. So, yeah, it, it seems like all right. Um, we don't get progress, but they say we'll get a special gift uh, for playing it. Um yeah um and then last last but not least the words where it says um um they they're saying how they feel about the game and stuff like that um which is yeah like the normal stuff about how how you know 
stuff that we said on a podcast practically like what order would we kill him or something uh the new skills all that stuff uh, yeah easier to find dragon balls like telepathy is really good for you know a group sense um of location gathering because again it's a, a lot of the game is um teamwork makes the dream work yeah. and we just uh Sometimes you steamroll the raider if everyone actually functions as a team and, you know, not try to go to the skate time machine when they want to. But yeah, um, uh, yeah, this guy, uh, provides mostly new content stuff, um, and yeah, and then, uh, the last guys, yeah, here it is. This is, this, so yeah, this is the guy. So he's the, he was in charge of the pro uh, project as a producer, but now it's going over to the other guy. So we're switching producers. Okay. This guy right here? Uh, huh? Is this guy the new producer? This one's the old one, and the other guy on the left is the new one. Oh, man. Yeah. So, they're shifting producers, so that could provide actual good change in the game. Like I said, they're trying to... It seems like they're trying to take steps toward to actually make a difference. Um, um, and maybe that's, this, that's this new think. guy will help. Um, that's shoot. what you think. You yeah, could be right? wrong. You could be totally Watch wrong. Watching it comes completely worse. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre locked. has beat our ass and we are now um, uh, doing a merger. Everything is now a gotcha. If you want this, you gotta you gotta roll. Lord, this, right? yeah, like uh, it's gonna be awful. Like I, I'm honestly waiting for like I'm down to play the new stuff, but honestly, I'm looking at that timer for like whenever the new season starts. I'm gonna look at the timer for the next season rolling up, and I'm gonna be like. Okay, this it's gonna be like Legends of Zelda, like Majora's Mask. It's like when 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 this timer ends, the moon's gonna crash and like this the it's it's canceled. Um, mm -hmm. it is uh canceled. Uh, it's game game done. Like it's just the 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 death of the game right there. Um, oh yeah, the oh, monkey. Man. Uh, they got hit by the monkey at some point. The monkey good. It's... Monkey cracked. My like, thing is right. And like when, I said, the when the second is, uh... season came out, hmm? there were so many people that joined the game, like so many new people in the second season, in the beginning, who joined and wanted to play because they heard so many good things about it. And it just flopped, and a lot of people left. Even the main people who were there from season one, and, you know, they left. Now, the season three has a chance to bring those people that let them leave back in and actually enjoy this game, but we'll see. Yeah, I, I don't think we're seeing changes till season four at this rate. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be completely honest. Like, after what what's been shown, like I like the new content. Like I said, like adding content is fun, and that that makes the game fun. But unless they bring old Raider Q back or like actively use this time to like that's the only thing. If they actually use this in like balance the game better, um, from this public test server, then there might be a change on season three. But if nothing happens, then like, it's 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 season four or bust. That's it. It's season four or we're done. But like, I think that's actually yeah. like where the line will be crossed, where we just kind of bonk. Uh, cause yeah, like they switch directors, they put a PTS, so and they they have the server from the last thing. They have all the tools to make a better season after this, to 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 actually regrow a proper player base. But that is literally up to them and see how that goes. Um. I'm gonna tell you this though, Antonio spent $34 on this game, so you know what? That's cool. He he bought the rest of the battle pass for King Furry. Jesus. So they got more $34. Hopefully that $34 will make season four green. <laughs> that goes straight to their pocket and say, I I I, 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 I don't really intend so. to buy anything. Like 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 last time I only buy survivors. And I'm not interested in a King Kai really. The monkey's good, but I'll leave it for the other C's telepathy. I'm definitely buying Nindata. Yeah. I want, I want, if anything, I want Baba to eat. I mean, if I play... Yeah, I that's on Battle Pass, though, so that's free. One. You just have to play enough to get there. But yeah, uh, but yeah that's it for our little special episode. What's up? Is she at the end of the Battle Pass? Uh, at, at 50. They're probably going to do the same thing as last season. Do 50 and then the overflow with, like, some outfit or something. Because last uh, season was Bardock. Okay. They might give us Ginyu's, like, Ginyu spandex. Hopefully. The good All stuff. Alright, so I did... But yeah, that's it for our little special for um, checking out the new stuff. Um, 
Uh, I am Lynn from Henry's All In on Twitch.tv. If you want to see my actual live reactions, that's going to be there for probably the remainder of the week. The VODs are saved for up to, me, I think, two weeks. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, this episode went on long, but there was a lot to talk about here and a lot to rip on. Uh, and I'm Nick Fly. Uh, you can find me at uh, Real Nick Fly or Nick Fly Gaming, and stuff like that. I think just Nick Fly on Twitter. I'm pretty sure, but yeah, this game, uh, this new season, hopefully, it just does better. You know, they just they they gotta do better. Just do better. Oh, oh yeah, know, breakers, yeah. Do better. Yeah, we said enough about the stuff, and yeah, I agree with him. Like, hopefully, it it, it goes better. Well, yep, yeah. and time to time out. Bye-bye. Time out. Dunzo.